I was a man with dreams, ambitions. But a single mistake, a moment of weakness, condemned me to this cold, unforgiving place. Time forgot me, but the guilt, the regret, kept me company. I was destined to wither away in a cell until I noticed it. A crack, tiny and significant, but it was a change in my world of monotonous gray. Each night it grew. A chasm forming in my world of confinement. Until one night it seemed big enough for my hand to fit in. And suddenly I felt an icy touch. And then I was elsewhere. Another world, alien, hostile, yet bursting with unfathomable life. Creatures unlike anything I'd seen, strange plants that danced in the alien wind. free. A dream, a hallucination. It felt real, more real than the cold steel and concrete of my cell. Back in my cell, the walls felt closer. I tasted freedom, and now the cage was even more suffocating. Anxiety gnawed at me. Uncertainty clashed with curiosity, but the yearning to peek beyond the confines of my reality overpowered fear. By this time, the gap became a large hole, as if it was created for me. Then I saw it. It was vulnerable and dying. Fear, curiosity, pity, a cocktail of emotions rushed over me. It was alone, like me. It spoke to me. Not in words, but in memories and emotions. Its kind, once spread across time and space, now reduced to this one being. They had the ability to choose to live on even after their bodies perished in an astral plane of their shared memories. But pride was their downfall. They yearned for godhood, but the void of time tainted them, pushing them into oblivion. But this one, it faces an eternity of solitude being the last of its kind. And so it risked everything for a connection. A connection with me. It offered me a choice to leave my world of iron and to join it in this new, unfathomable world. It made this offer not out of desperation, but out of recognition. It saw in me not just a criminal, but a kindred spirit, a being who had tasted the bitter poison of loneliness and had survived just as it had. 
alone in a plane of existence that was meant to be shared. The irony wasn't lost on me. I spent a night in contemplation, a life in this cage or an unknown journey into the stars. I chose the unknown. It was a gamble, but what did I have to lose? At least that is what I was trying to tell myself. For someone who was rejected by this world, I was suddenly feeling a sense of grief. As I plunge into this alien realm, I can't help but wonder, will I ever return? Will I ever want to? But for now, I am free. <laughs>